Hello friends, it's your buddy Keith and I'm here live again in the control room at the one and only world famous Essex Recording Studios just outside London in South and on Sea, England, baby. And today we are talking about mic cables. Oh yes, XLR cables. Not necessarily the most exciting topics of the day, but if you need to record anything, vocals, guitar, drums, uh, you know, anything with a microphone, you need to know about XLR cables. And a lot of you watching this are going to be wondering, what is the best cable? Why do we need to make a decision about uh, a cheap cable versus a more expensive cable, a good one versus a great one? Is there even any such thing? And we're going to get into all of that, all right? And why I, after all of my research, landed on the clots m5 mic cable i'm also going to talk about uh making your own cables which lots of audio engineers do i'm going to talk about recording in a studio like this with this big fancy schmancy ssl duality desk all right with all these different rooms all this different outboard gear really expensive neumann microphones over there all right i'm going to talk about how to make a decision to choose the best cable for you because that doesn't mean you know what you have going on your situation your budget your setup this may not be the best one and i'll give you some advice i came to the conclusion based on all my research that for this setup this is the right cable for us this is the right solution and also i would say if you just need one microphone cable you know if you just need one or two you know just go get the best. It's so little extra in the grand scheme of things. Now, when you need like 50 cables, budget can start becoming a big issue because these are not cheap, all right? These are expensive. But the difference between uh, an average one and a great one when you're just buying one, minimal, guys. So if you can't afford it, go out and get it. Klotz makes it real easy. They do a star system, okay? This is five stars. This is their top rated one. And as you can see on the cable itself, you can see high-end studio microphone cable. Nice. Says it on the tin. All right. So what is the best XLR mic cable for you, for anyone? There's a lot of opinions, a lot of different brands. Really what it comes down to um, practically is what we're going to see here on the back of the packaging and the construction of the cable. This is why I came to land on the Klotz M5, all right? And the M5 is when you buy this cable from Klotz. It's pre-made. There's actually, you know, two components to talk about. You've got the cable itself, okay? And this cable is not an M5 cable. It is a Klotz MC5000 cable. You can buy this by the meter. Um, there's, there's plenty of companies that sell it. You can buy a big spool of it. So if you want to buy, you know, 50 meters or a hundred meters of Klotz MC 5000, and then put your connectors on and make, make your full cables yourself, you can do that. Lots of engineers do it. There's a reason why I did not do that. I'm going to tell you about it. There's a very, I think, sound reason why I didn't do it that people should consider, especially if you have lots of cables. There is a value to having them pre-made from the manufacturer. You will pay a lot more. Don't get me wrong. Okay. I think, I think this cable right here, I mean, this is 10 meters, but even the six meter one, this is something I paid, I think around 50 pounds for on Amazon. All right. That's, uh, in dollars, Whew, what are, what are we at now? We're about add on another third, I think. Yeah, so may, maybe maybe around uh, maybe around like sixty eight, close to seventy dollars is about what I paid for this this cable. All right, for a, a nineteen and a half foot cable. Now that that sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. If you want to buy this by the meter, you can just pay about three dollars, you know, three pounds over here per meter and you know when you're looking at six meters well that's 18 pounds 18 pounds is a lot cheaper than than 50 but then you have to buy the connectors and that's what i was going to talk about these are the neutric 
All right, we say Neutrik, like Neumann microphones, Neutrik connectors. All right, this is independent of the Klotz company. These are the industry standard. These are the higher end ones with the uh, gold plated connectors. Those aren't solid gold. We'd be all melting these down and selling them for scrap. Now, all right, but uh, these you have to then go and buy. And these cost, I think, around, again, for the ones with the gold, somewhere around three to four pounds each. And then you add on a third of that, and that's your dollar. When I say pounds, that's the currency here in the UK. Uh, British pound sterling. Europe uses the euro. America uses the dollar. Lots of different currencies around the world. So that's what you've got. You've got two Neutrik connectors, uh, uh, male and female. So you can win a lot of swimming competitions with this cable. Ha! But yeah. So you've got those two connectors, and then you've got however many meters, like this is a 10 meter cable. So 10 meters, if we were to just buy the spool, that would be about 30 pounds uh, just for just for the uh, uh, cable and then the two connectors. So around 36, 37 pounds. I think for the 10 meter, I paid around 55 pounds. So I paid a little bit extra. And time is something to consider when you're pre-making cables. Average consumer, you're not going to make your own cable, but for sure in studio environments where, uh, you know, or if, or if you're touring and you're doing live rigs and setups and, and you're doing super long cables, cable runs for sure, uh, you'll probably end up building your own. But why I went with pre-made ones, and especially from the company that manufactures the cable, is for two reasons. Time, I'm certainly not going to sit down to uh to make those and i have to go then pay someone to sit down and do it and they have to use a soldering iron and then what if they burn themselves and blah, blah 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 all that stuff but more importantly reliability all right when you buy a pre-made cable there's lots i mean i'm going to show you something over here i shouldn't show you this we're in the middle of uh getting this all reorganized but like look at all of these looms down here all right these are all made by hand and uh are all all the connectors were done by our last engineer and that connects all of this stuff you know and this stuff to this patch bay to this desk all right and when when you have all of that and and you know your your studio intern josh went and soldered together these connections all you need is one broken little solder you know, one little pin, not quite connected. And all of a sudden you've got some distortion, some bad sounds coming out of these speakers when you're recording, when you're trying to make, you know, world-class music in a world-class recording studio. You know, very expensive. The time in here is expensive. The equipment's expensive. You, you want things to go right. And if you start hearing some sort of distortion or noise, which you inevitably will in a studio, things break, things go wrong, it happens. You want to be able to quickly, as quickly as possible, troubleshoot. And if you know that all of your XLRs, all of your mic cables are all brand new, were not made by intern Josh, but were made by the manufacturer that makes the cables, all right, well, then you can have confidence that you don't have to start going and pulling apart all your XLR cables and opening up the connectors and checking. So you don't have to do any of that stuff because you know, all right, that in this environment is invaluable. That is well worth spending a couple hundred extra bucks to buy pre-made cables versus just buying a spool of Klotz MC5000 cable and buying a bucket full of connectors and making your own. All right, to me, that is invaluable. That's experience speaking here. If you're at home, you're not gonna have that issue. You're gonna have a lot less equipment than this and for you to debug and troubleshoot some weird noise, eh, you can just go unplug a couple cables, no big deal. But that's, that's why I say that, all right? Now, let's talk about what led me to come to the conclusion that these five-star M5 Klotz cables with the Neutrik, the black Neutrik uh, and gold connectors are the best. Why, why did I choose this one over all the other brands okay and we do have cheap cheap xlr cables just so you know guys a cheap cheap xlr cable like this this doesn't have a neutric connector this is just some just some old crappy thing right there all right they will get the job done they will work 
they, uh, you know, you can go buy a $5, $15 XLR cable. It will totally work. It will carry the signal just fine. And the difference that you hear out of your speakers with that cable versus this cable, you're not going to even be able to tell. <gasps> Oh, then why did I spend all the money? Why don't I just go buy a bunch of $15, 15 pound, 15 euro cables? Well, again, there's a reason for it. One, like I said, if you're just going to buy a cable, just go get the best one. Go treat yourself. All right. Go spend the extra $30, $40. And just, you know, then you have that confidence. You know, you have the very best one. Great. All right. But what I have to worry about in the studio environment, look at all these lights. Look at all these lights. Look at all this equipment. All right, we've got Wi-Fi going on in here. Sometimes we'll have 10, 10, 12 people in this room, all right? All their cell phones are going off, their mobile phones, their smartphones, all Wi-Fi, data. We've got 4G coming through here. We've got 5G coming through here. What I'm trying to tell you guys is we've got a lot of signals bouncing around in here. We've got a lot of stuff going on, all right? And uh, cables get stepped on constantly i mean if i have to go around the back of this desk and i've got all this stuff laying down here all right that's getting stepped on and when you've got cables running across the rooms and you got big drum kit mic'd up in the other room you're gonna have cables getting stepped on um there's just a lot of stuff that happens in a, in a recording studio environment cables are they go through a lot of abuse you know we do our best to, to take good care of them but they go they get a lot of abuse so you want something that's extremely well built, that's going to last, you know, being curled up and dragged around and knocked and stepped on, and is also going to reject as much outside interference and nonsense as possible. And that's where we get to the construction of this cable. So if you look here, we talk about the, they show you the outer jacket, the overall diameter. It's a nice, good, thick cable here. I mean, the thickness on this, versus this cheapo one over here. Uh, it's about a third thicker than this one. All right. And then if you look at the shielding, that's that's really what did it for me. Double counter-rotating bear copper spiral shield. All right. Lots and lots of shielding on these cables. Then you have an inner jacket. All right. You've got a twisted pair, two core. All right. And you've got low capacitance, extremely low capacitance. And this talks about the distance. So 55 is the lowest. I don't think I've seen any, any advertised mic cable with lower capacitance than that. But you can read all these features here if you want to pause it. I'm not going to go read every single thing for you. But there you go. Comes with a five-year warranty, which is great. And, um, you know, it's, it's a German built cable made in Germany. Neutrik is actually, uh, it's actually based in Liechtenstein, Liechtenstein. I've been to Liechtenstein. Has anyone else been to Liechtenstein? Leave a message in the comments. If you've been there, you can't fly there. So if you told me you took a flight there, you're lying. They don't even have an airport, tiny, tiny landlocked country in the middle of Europe. And uh, I made a point to go there because I was driving from northern Italy through Switzerland, uh, a little bit through Austria, went to Stuttgart in Germany, went to the Mercedes and Porsche museums there. And I said, man, uh, when am I ever going to get a chance to go to Liechtenstein? Uh, I just got to go do it. I got to do it because, you know, we can't take a flight there. And beautiful, beautiful country. Very, very tiny. And their headquarters for Neutrik is actually right there it's got a huge building i wish i knew when i was there i would have popped in and said hello next time uh, i'll definitely try and make a trip make a point to go over there and have a chat with them because neutrik connectors guys are the industry standard a uh, company built in 1975 from a former akg engineer everyone knows akg their headphones uh, mics er everything all right great products this guy came from that company and it's now a huge global company and they have the you know coveted position of being the industry standard for connectors for mics for xlr all right neutrik is the way and i can't think of any competitive 
like any competitors, any other companies, there's like, Neutrik, no way. You got to get Goitric. That's where it's at, baby. Now, it's there's really just one company. Um, so you either get these, you can get them, uh, you know, where they're silver and they've got normal pins, then they have silver pins, and then they have gold pins, and these are the really, really nice ones, and they lock, and, uh, yeah, they're just really, really well made, okay? So, uh, if you have a little home studio, like I said, and you just need one or two cables, treat yourself, look for a sale, go on Amazon, look at your local music shop, um, Give them a call, ask for a discount, do whatever you got to do, but just go, you know, whether you want to go with the, what is it, Megami or a, another high-end one, you know, I didn't go with them because they didn't have the same specs and, you know, I went on the forums and I looked at people that, you know, used those and a lot of them said they had issues with them for this type of environment and, um, I didn't hear anything bad about these, these had all the specs that I wanted and for the price, I got a good deal. I got a good deal on Amazon where I was getting the 10 meter ones for the same price as the six meter. That's great. And then the, the, uh, the three meter ones were on sale. So there you have it, folks. That is how I made my decision. But if you're on a budget, if you have to go like, well, where should I be throwing my money at, at towards premium things? Guys, if money is tight, Put your money towards your microphone. That will pay much larger dividends than, you know, if like 30 extra dollars or euros or pounds is something that like, man, I can only put that in one place and it's mic cable or microphone, put it towards getting a better microphone. All right. That's a direct order. I'm in a position where we already have all the gear. We have all the best stuff. You know, we've, we've got microphones that are 10 grand. So yes, it does make sense to go and and pay the bit extra, have the best. It looks good for our clients. There is absolutely something called the law of diminishing returns where you can pay all sorts of money. There's there's, you know, there's $200 mic cables. But what you get extra out of that is negligible. Diminishing returns. The more you pay, the less you get. And I would say you know, a, a $15 uh, XLR with a with Neutrik connectors. If you're in a nice, clean environment, what you're not going to get anything better uh, out of these other than a bit more durability. You know, if you don't have to worry about any sort of interference, cross-talk, anything, you know, you don't have loads of people coming in and out every day, these might be a bit overkill, Personally, I like to have a little extra than a little less. That's my philosophy. And also, I don't like to work my way up to things, guys. I like to buy right the first time, buy the very best, and then forget about it. That's cool. All right. I'm done thinking about my cables. I bought the very best. You know, there, there's nothing else to think about. The end. And I move on to other things. That is just my philosophy. But you also have to work your way up there. You have to be in an economic position to be able to make those sorts of choices. And like I said, if you're if you're not quite there yet, where you've already got everything else, I've already got everything else. I got the ten grand mic. I got all that stuff. And you have to pick like one thing to be the best. The mic cable should be at the very bottom of that list. You know, microphone for sure. Mic preamp for sure. Your interface absolutely cool. So I hope we're all on the same page here. I hope you understand why for me, for a large studio environment with a huge, large format uh, console desk and for doing the type of sessions we're doing, like where we're, when we mic drums, we got like 16 mics on, on a drum kit, guys. So lots of cables all over the place. People are stepping on them, all that stuff. Lots of people in the building, lots of equipment, lots of signals, lots of interference for me. Having this construction with the Klotz MC5000 cable what was the way to go. They talk about the, uh, what do they call it? Like the quadplex, the quad core. Um, that increases the capacitance. And, you know, am I, have I had this place brought in a, a NASA scientist to figure out how much interference and nonsense is going on here? No, I have not. 
But when I when I read that and I see the capacitance goes up, the likelihood for interference goes up, but the people who have used those types of cables, who have been in environments like this, have experienced issues that needed reconsideration, well, then I just went straight for this one. You know, that's, that's that. Uh, we talked about making your own cables, saving lots of money versus buying them pre-made. Uh, for me, to sit and pay someone to make the cables... You know, buying a lot of them, yeah, I, I, I'd save a little bit of money. But then what happens when the guy, you know, he's thinking about his Tinder date that he's got tonight while he's welding, uh, soldering, and he burns himself or he doesn't do a good connection on one thing. And the next thing you know, you have a monster session going through all these different rooms, got all these artists in, and you're hearing some, some crackling noise, some distortion through there. Like, ugh. And then it ends up being... Oh man, intern Josh screwed up a connection on cable number 13. Ugh, the time you spend dealing with that, you know, it's like, no, I just don't want that to ever happen. And it has happened in the past. So that's why I've done this. And I actually have a lot more cables coming. This is, Amazon's really weird sometimes. Like you get, you order all of it at the same time and then they send you like half. But uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we did. That's what we got. It's really annoying. I, I spent like 650 pounds on XLR cables. There's nothing really exciting and fun to, to say about that when, you know, to spend that kind of money on cables really sucks. But guys, if you're going to have an environment like this, if you're going to have a quarter million pound desk, you know, 10 grand monitors, 10 grand microphones, 10 grand compressors and EQs, well... You know, you just have to be a big boy and suck it up and just spend the correct money and have the correct gear. And again, give your engineer and your clients confidence that they know that there's not going to be any issues. You know, reliability is what you want when you're charging top money in a studio. And for you at home who don't have this environment, you're working your way up, you're building your career. Like I said, if you've got the money, treat yourself, just get a nice one, just spend a little bit extra. You'll have it for life if you take care of it. All right, cool. Talk over. That's great. Follow us on all the socials at Essex Recording Studios. I would have gotten in front of the camera, but I just want to quickly make these videos, show you what the packaging was like on these, because I'm going to rip these bad boys out and start putting them to use. I will start getting in front of the camera uh, here very soon. We're going to get a permanent kind of uh, camera set up in here so you can see more of my smiling face. But other than that, guys, yeah, just, just thought this would be a helpful video chit-chatting about why I chose this cable, the Klotz M5, why I found this to be the best for my environment, and what my thought process and decision-making process was to make my purchase decision. Great. Uh, I'm Keith Producer, at Keith Producer on Instagram. The studio's at Essex Recording Studios. We do have Facebook. Please subscribe. Please like us. Let me know if you've been to Liechtenstein, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Leave some love in the comments, guys. Bye.